One of the newest tools in the U.S. Forces arsenal is the common remotely operated weapon station 2, or CROWS 2. The tool allows soldiers the ability to acquire targets from the safety of their armored vehicle. Right. It's going to save lives by keeping the soldiers inside the vehicle and, um, and still having them to have the opportunity to engage the enemy from within. Being protected. Fairly new to Afghanistan, soldiers will receive a five-day course on the weapon system. They will be able to properly use a weapon with the Crows too and understand how to operate the newly upgraded system upon the completion of the course. You have the same base capability. Uh, the packaging is different. The, uh, uh, the controls of the Crows 2 are a little bit more uh, easy for soldiers to learn. It, it helps them out a lot more. And the, uh, like I said, it uh, has a few more bells and whistles that Crows 1 didn't have. On the last day of training, soldiers will be able to equip the Crows 2 with a weapon and roll out to the range. They will be able to load the weapon and fire to build a confidence level with the system. Like, like I'm six days from rolling outside the wire, I'll feel pretty confident with this system as opposed to having, having to be in the gunner's hatch. Joint Sustainment Command Afghanistan officials are ensuring the smooth distribution of Crows 2 within Afghanistan. This is Army Staff Sergeant Marcos Ulises reporting from Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan.